and press the bell icon for quick further notifications. Hello friends, in this video we are discussing about a 40 inch Micromax LED TV. The complaint is double image and vertical lines. This is the AUO 40 inch panel. Here we use the level shift modification method. Here we remove the LC1 and LC2 resistance from the panel and uh, side and bypass the ABVT voltage. These testing points are also called as the VGH E1 VGH odd points. Here in these points, both VGH and VGH voltages appear simultaneously as a pulsing voltage. If VGH is in LC1, then VGH will be in LC2. If uh, VGL is in LC1, then VGH will be in LC2. Here we bypassed the AVDD voltage to LC2 point. If complaint remains same, then try to bypass the AVDD voltage instead of VGH voltage. Or you can use AVDD voltage by default instead of VGH. Here I used to, to connect the VGH uh, AVDD point instead of VGH and bypassed the AVDD voltage to the LC2 point of the panel. This is a 40 inch AEO panel. Here we use the level shifter IC modifications. It helps to solve double image without cutting method. If vertical lines appears in the screen, then we need to remove the VSS resistance from the scalar PCB. See, now AVDD voltage is bypassed to the LC2. Now let's check the TV by connecting it back to the panel frame. You can see from the AVDD point, it's connected to the LC2 point. This, this is the AUO panel. This panel is also called as a Panda panel. See, this is a AUO, 14 inch AUO panel. You can see the panel model number. We should bypass the voltage to the panel side because under side of the level shifter IC still the voltage is, is coming. And, uh, while after removing the resistance from the LC1 and LC2, we should connect the voltage uh, to the uh, panel side in which there is no voltage is producing. We should bypass the voltage to that side otherwise it will damage the level shifter IC. Now the panel is successfully connected to the TV. Now let's turn on the TV. Here you can clearly see the modifications. I will zoom the screen. See now the AVDD voltage 16 volt is connected to the LC2 point. That point directly goes to the panel side. Uh, one at the another end opposite side uh, and still the pulsing voltages are coming from the level shifter IC. Now the TV is released from the standby. Now let's turn on the TV and check. Yes, here you can see now the picture is okay. There is no line vertical lines and double image. The TV is working perfectly. And the complaint is successfully sold. See, now it's work fine. Uh, now the TA complaint is successfully sold and the modification is success. As I said earlier, this is a modification method only. So it may this modification may last maybe one uh, three months or one year it will depend upon according to the usage of the tv the proper method is to replace the panel this is just only a modification method and and the chance of working is according to the usage of the customer maybe it will uh, this method will work for three months or one month or up to one year it may depends upon the usage of the TV now the TV is perfectly working and the complaint is solved thanks for watching see you in next video with another interesting topics